Welcome back everyone, I'm the Architectural Insider. I know that I have not uploaded in a while, but the last few months have been so busy for me. I got a job straight after university which I'm so happy and I'm working at Glancy Nichols Architects, if you guys know them, they do some amazing work, but more about that in another video. I also moved house from Wolverhampton to Birmingham, and here I am with this video after all this time. Today I will show you how to go from sketchy diagrams to full photoshop diagrams that you can use in your presentation using the basic photoshop tools. Now the reason I did these diagrams was to show how my building responses to the site to show that I fully understand my building and how it fits in its context. Now firstly I taste the drawing on AutoCAD to get a site and building which I then opened in photoshop and started to work on it. Firstly I started using the bucket tool to fill in all of the colors. The base is just black to make the building stand out more. And now this piece of drawing I will use for all of the other diagrams so it's just a matter of copy and paste. Diagram number one. Here I want to show the approach of the building from the entrance of the site and how it fits in the current contours. I will use the magic wand tool and select all of the vegetation and give it a green color with a grass pattern you know just to give it some texture. Always remember to create a new layer when you are filling. I then used a light green fill and selected them again to fill it in with some grass texture. Using different shades of grey to show the different path hierarchy. I then went on the contour map creator which I will link in the description down below. I got a file with the white background when you scroll down and removed it with the magic wand tool and then selected the lines, I felt that the lines were a bit too quirky so I made them more angular uh, contours by holding shift and clicking where the lines need to go. The building will be black to make it clear where it is, now I did feel that there were too many lines, so I hit the main layer and look at the difference. Diagram number 2, this diagram shows sol solo shading and natural noise cancellation on the side. I started by creating the pedestrian path walkways by simply using the polygonal lasso tool. I used different colors from Google and del deleted the background and added them to roughly the right scale. I used three PNG files so you don't have to remove the background and use different tree types and sizes also using different opacities to give it some depth. I then added some sun rays to show the solo shading with the round brush tool. I then added some red wiggly lines from Google with a white outline to show how the tree line cancels the noise from the main road. Diagram number 3. This one is really simple, it's just to show how the water falls down into the canal. So I used two arrows and added a blue color overlay as shown here. I also added the building and the pedestrian path and cars from the previous diagram to add some context. Diagram number 4. Now for, for this one, Literally the only thing I did was copy and paste the tree line I did in the previous diagram and move them around a bit to make it look different and added a few more trees in the background. I added the red arrow to show the private space the users have from the main road. And then, and then also added a few blue arrows with a white outline. Diagram number 5. This diagram is nothing crazy, just a plan on the side which shows how the site can be used for future expansion all around the proposed building. Diagram number 6. The last diagram is to demonstrate how the tree line works on plan and on the site and how it gives back to the community. I used one tree and created a variety of sizes and colors from this one tree and added it right where I, where I can then just keep copying and pasting, copying and pasting, copying and pasting. I did this by changing the color of the layer in the effects bar. The side plan is from the previous drawing I did. Here are all six of the diagrams again. This is from my Maggie Center project, which I did a few videos previously, so make sure you watch them too, which I will link down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and do hit that like button as it really helps me out and don't forget to share and subscribe. See you next time.